Hello P3 students, welcome to our science class again and we are now on unit 1 lesson D, the second part of what kinds of animals are there. So are you ready? Let's get started. Our learning outcome is to classify living things and explain why they are classified that way. For our vocabulary, we have two words. We have birds and mammals. So please take your time to check their meanings and write your answers in your science notebook. To start, we have here birds have the following features. Their bodies are covered with feathers for protection. Feathers also help them fly and keep them warm and dry. They each have a beak, two wings, and two legs. They were produced by laying eggs with hard shells. Some examples of birds are the following. We have here a robin, a parrot, and a duck. They all belong to bird family. Mammals have the following features. Their bodies are covered with hair or fur for protection. Hair or fur also keeps them warm. Most mammals are produced by giving birth to live young, and the adult females produce milk to feed their young. Some examples of mammals. Look at the picture. Can you name all the animals here, children? And that will be your homework. And that ends our lesson for today. Thanks for watching and see you at our Zoom time. Stay healthy and safe, P3 students. God bless everyone. Bye-bye.